In this video, I am going to be making a guide to the commons map in Spectre Divide. So right here is the spawn point. You can see this is where the spectres normally spawn at the start of the game. And first, we're going to go explore the B site, which is over there. And obviously A is up here. And if you didn't know, you can press M to open up the map. So we're going to go towards B to start off with. So you go this way, and this is the kind of gateway to B that opens when the game actually starts. So there are two ways that you can go here. You can either go this way and go along this big corridor towards B, which actually does have a lot of points someone can peek from. If someone's feeling brave, they can be here. They can also be to the right or to the left when you go through here. They can be behind this box. They can be behind this piece of sheet metal right here. They can be behind that box. And they can be behind a lot of different places, basically. There is also a kind of sneaky peek right there, so do watch out for that. And in general, it's a pretty long hallway to get across to get to be from that position. However, if we go all the way back towards the kind of the start of this long kind of hallway, and we go right instead, so remember this is the spawn point right here, this is the gateway that opens up. So the gateway opens up, and you can actually go to the right here instead, and up the stairway. And this means that you can get to this room, which doesn't have as many kind of passageways to get shot from, basically. So, yes, yeah, someone can be to the left or to the right, but it's fairly straightforward. Someone's going to be there, there, or maybe behind this box when you walk in. And then if you turn left, down this stairway, out the door, and there is B right there. And this is kind of a good flanking position as well. Is If everyone else is kind of looking down this hallway, waiting for your teammates to come through there... Coming up from the stairway, maybe if like one teammate comes up from the stairway and everyone else is down that hallway, then this is probably going to be a pretty good way to flank because you're essentially going to get behind like everyone else, assuming you're, you know, crouch walking and all of that stuff. So I quite like to go that way to get to B normally. And then we have A. So again, starting off at the spawn point and just going towards A. This was the gate. You would have seen it a second ago. It's the gateway when the game starts. And you just go this way. So, you've got a couple of options here. You can either go up this stairway, or you can go over that way. In my experience, one person tends to kind of be behind this box, so you've got to watch this corner if you're going straight through. And if you're if, if you're going straight through, you've got to watch this corner, and if you're going up here, you've got to watch over that way. So you kind of have to look the opposite way of wherever you're going, so you do have to watch out for that. If you go this way, you get into like a big kind of garage type area, and then, then point A is going to be right there. This is like a pretty basic room, there's not a whole lot to it. And then if you go the other way, which is just straight on, and then you go right and up the stairs, you are also going to get to A. There's going to be this piece of metal. Anything that looks like this, by the way, any piece of metal, people can shoot through. You can shoot through this and you can take damage on the other side, so do be aware of that. But if you go this way, we're also going to be at A. Now, there is a room here that people can be behind, so you do have to watch out for that. Someone can be in this room, maybe waiting for you to peek, and there's kind of like a sneaky corner here as well that you got to watch out for if you're entering this room. But generally, someone's going to either be behind that piece of metal, behind this kind of big square in the middle, or up here. People really like to go up here, behind that piece of metal. Obviously, you have to throw your specter there, but people really like to be behind that as well. So, yeah, that is going to be point B. I mean, sometimes someone will also be behind this, um, maybe on the other side, actually. Sometimes someone will be behind this, or behind this, or behind this, even. Even though that's kind of towards mid, which we're getting to next, sometimes someone will be behind this, waiting for you to spawn from over there. So, yeah, I think uh, both of the sites on this map can be a little bit tricksy, kind of like all of the maps, really. Uh, but I think I generally prefer a... But... We're not done just yet. So now we actually have the midpoint. So if you didn't know, there's always point A, point B, and then the midpoint entrances, and this is point B. And right off the bat this time, there are three different, there are two different ways you can go. You can either go straight on when this gate opens, or you can go up here, and this is actually going to lead back towards point A more than it is to B, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. So you go over here, and you're gonna see that this is very very familiar this is where you spawn if you actually go uh this way this is going to be that same stairway that i'm looking at right now if you go from the a spawn but i think this is a little bit safer because you have cover from people that are down this way 
And you can also see someone if they're going to try peeking from behind that box. So if you want to go to A, I think it's actually much, much, much safer to go to A from the mid spawn, if that makes sense. Because if you want to go over there, you can actually make this jump on top of this box and then jump on top of here as well and continue going towards A. However, if you want to go, you can also like go to this stairway if you want to do that. So this is a pretty versatile option. If you want to go to B from mid, then you kind of have to push through this area right here. So obviously, if you go here, this is going to be back to A. But if you decide you want to push through this area, there are two corners that you got to kind of look through. You got to look down that way and you have to look down this way. But if you want to get to B, you can actually go both ways. You can go this way to get to B. So this is just kind of like a big open room. It's the same um, room that you get to from the B spawn once you go up the stairs down this way. I think the map design of this game is quite good. I, I would just like to say that as well. So that's what happens if you go left, you get to B that way. And if you go all the way back around, this is also going to lead to B, but it's going to be from a slightly different room, which is going to look like this. And then this is going to be that kind of sneaky room that you would have got a, a glimpse at back when I was at B. So you can get to both B and A uh, relatively easily from the midpoint, but A is much, 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 much closer. A is much, much closer to... Um, B. I mean, A is much closer to the midpoint than B is to the midpoint. So keep that in mind. If you're going mid, A is going to be much closer, while B is not. Um, it just takes a lot longer to get there. So for this map, I think if you want to go to B, just go to the B spawn. And if you want to go to A, I think you should actually go to the mid spawn because I feel like that's going to be safer. Now, as for when you are defending, what I like to do and what I think is probably best to do is put one of your specters at either point. So I'll always put one specter at A and one specter at B. And sometimes I'll try and push a spawn a little bit. It can be good for gathering information and getting a couple of, kill, a couple of kills right at the start of the match. And you know, if someone drops this use, that's going to be really good to know where that is as well. Um, so I do like to push the spawn sometimes, but I won't do it every single time. So at the where is this this is the b spawn so this is the b spawn again they're gonna come from either over there or through this way um they can also technically come from the room that's over here but they have to push really far through mid to do that so normally no one's going to come through there they're nor they'll normally like most of the time come through there or come through this way if they're gonna come from the back end you'll probably hear them pushing through mid, mid because someone else will probably be shooting at B, there's a couple of places that I like to stay. Up here, if you throw a specter up here, that's one of the places I really, really, really like. And um, I think it's a very, very good place to just kind of chill. Maybe if you've got like one person here to try and get the enemy's attention to be looking this way. Maybe you've got a hex barrier behind you so no one can instantly take you out from behind. You'll probably hear their footstep audio. If you're looking this way, you shoot and then maybe you just die. You can actually swap to this specter and then just take him out really quickly. So this is definitely a nice spot. Even if you've just got teammates around peeking that angle, you can actually kind of shoot through this as well if someone's coming through there um, but I quite like being up here sometimes people will peek it um, but because the game is quite new still a lot of people don't know like all of the angles and I think this is one of the ones that are actually most underutilized uh, on this map you can also go like a little bit deeper into it if you want to as well but that's one of the places I'd like to leave my specter I also like to do exactly this with the hex barrier I like to put a hex barrier like around there and then just kind of stay here um, and just kind of camp the objective. That's another thing I like to do. Another good place is in between this wall and this box right here. Um, and that's the hallway, obviously. And then the, the like kind of gateway is over there. Um, but this is a very, very good position to keep. You can either go close to the box if you want more cover or far away to the box if you want to try and see the opponent first. And you can be shooting at anyone that comes across from that way because that is most likely where they're going to come from. So that's another nice little position too. And as for A, I'll generally like to put a specter up here. A lot of people do know about this spawn. A lot of people will peek this. People have gotten very used to that, so do watch out. Um, but that is definitely a position where I still quite like to put a specter. Obviously, the enemies come through this way, and they do also come through this way. Um, so depending on where they're coming from, because normally you're heal it coming, if they're coming from this way, um, well, actually, if they're coming from this way, I like to stand kind of by this box and be ready to shoot people over here. Or like maybe I'll be ready to shoot people over here. And if they're coming from uh, this way, well, actually, you know what? You can go behind this box either way. This box is kind of a safe area to 
to stay because you can shoot them if they're coming around that corner and you can also shoot them, shoot them if you're coming around that corner. So as long as you're sure you're not going to get flanked by someone else coming from a different spawn, then this red box right here is probably going to be a pretty solid place. And also this room in general is kind of just a nice place to like keep a secondary specter or to like stay in if you're going to try and push the objective when this use is planted. You do have to watch out for these metal parts. Again, you can shoot through them. Um, but for this um, area, I generally just like to pop a specter up there. Maybe I'll I'll kind of riskily put one here every now and then. Um, and I'll either like play around this kind of box bit here in this big red area, or I'll just go by this red box over there. So generally just behind the red boxes and sometimes I'll use this room. So there are a couple of different points here, but it is fairly open. It's like a fairly open point. There aren't a crazy amount of angles, but I still do kind of prefer this one than I do B, I think. So when you're defending, when you're pushing spawns, people don't normally come through this way, and I think it takes a little bit longer for them to come through that way. So I like to kind of uh, go through here. I think this is where most people are going to come from um, at A. And from B, I like to go through this little doorway on the left, which you can see is also blocked off. So I'm going to start off with A. What I like to do when this wall opens is I like to push through and either camp behind this box or peek this angle. Which angle do I like to peek? This angle right here. So sometimes someone will be up there. You do have to watch out for down there though because that is where a lot of people come from. So what I like to do is place a little barrier here because then I'm actually protected from that way. But if I come down these stairs a little bit, I can peek this angle freely. You do have to also watch out for that way though because that's A and this is mid, right? So they, they can come from both. But if I place this hex barrier here and kind of peek this stairway, I can only get shot from up here right now. Obviously they can shoot through the hex barrier, but if it's like the first, first round and they have pistols and stuff, they're probably not going to kill you. You're probably just going to be able to back off in time. So I either like to kind of do this sort of a setup and then shoot them if they come through here, or I'll just kind of play a little bit passively behind this box and just kind of peek the angle and wait for them to push. Um, or if I'm trying to be sneaky, I'll wait for someone to try and like go through, because generally if someone's like going through this box, they're not going to peek it absolutely fully because they're going to be looking this way. Um, and they actually might want to try and get around this corner as quickly as possible so they they limit how much their opponents can see them. So sometimes just camping behind this little box right here can be beneficial as well. So if I'm going to push, I like to just kind of play around this box and play around these, this stairway a little bit. And I don't really push the other way because people just don't generally come from that way. When I am at B, I like to push this uh, kind of stairway because you can't really push the other part of B much like over this way. You can't really push that way that much. You're probably just going to die. So I like to push up the stairway and get to this box. And then I either kind of slowly, slowly, slowly peek this angle and try and get a, a free kill on someone. Um, and then if I hear that the opponents are actually at A, what I might do is just immediately switch. And then if they start coming back to B afterwards, you can actually push like through to where their spawn is. And maybe you'll get like a sneaky kill on whenever, wherever they've left a specter. In this room, you can also just stay behind this box or actually go further out this way because then your specter is going to be closer to A as well. And maybe you can peek this angle a little bit further, which gives you the advantage in the gunfight. As for pushing mid when this gateway goes down, you can actually just kind of peek this angle. That's obviously A. Up there is going to be towards mid. And then over on the right a little bit more, I'll just show it, is also going to be mid. So when this gateway opens, you can just kind of sit here. And because you've got such a long range on this angle, this is a very long angle, you are going to see the opponent first because the longer angle always benefits uh, you. You're going to be able to see them first. But sometimes that's actually not advantageous because sometimes the person that's peeking kind of has the initiative and they're expecting someone. So if someone's peeking that angle and they're looking where they think you're going to be, you're probably not going to be able to react in time to take them out. But if they're not looking in the right place, then you probably will be able to. So it just kind of depends on, you know, how fast your reaction speed is and if someone's kind of expecting you to be where you are. But this is like a very okay place to peek as well. And if both of your specters are here, um, if you don't really want to put one at either point, you kind of want to have both of your specters together, then this is going to be a pretty good place to do it because you can rotate that way back to A or you can just rotate to B this way. So it's kind of up to you. I generally prefer to have both of my specters at each point, like I have one at A and one at B. Um, but and I, I don't really like mid much, like either attacking or defending in most instances. Actually, on this map, I do prefer uh, mid when I'm attacking. But when I'm defending, I don't really like these long angles. I find the recoil a lot easier to control at, at closer ranges because I'm not great at aiming. I'm not great at the recoil patterns just yet. So unless you have a sniper, I would probably avoid this right here. 
just that's just my personal preference but you know if you've got good aim then feel free to peek this angle to your heart's content so there you have it a very very basic kind of guide or walkthrough or whatever you want to call it to the commons map in spectre divide as well as you know a couple of like thoughts on how i like to kind of set up when i'm both defending and when i am attacking if you like this video let me know in the comments and maybe i'll you know do more for the other maps and if not then maybe not i'm not so sure um but yeah there you go thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen if you like the video leave a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one farewell